Hey, what's up, you all? God bless you in Jesus' name. I uh, just wanted to tell you that um, you know, lots of times people don't know how to start in ministry. Uh, uh, but honestly, the, the true ministry is being led by the Spirit of God. Um, but if you feel like doing something, you don't know where to start, you can always ask the Lord. Um, but you could start a text ministry. Pick 10 people in your contacts and text them a, a Bible verse every day. I've been doing that for nine years. I think I sh uh, text uh, Bible verse to probably 35 or 40 people today. So if you're watching this and you got a text, um, thank the Lord because I can't text everybody in my contacts. But I just spend time doing that. But I want to give you a testimony on text ministry. <clears throat> Early in my my walk with God, I I heard about text ministry from the church I was going to, um, Pentecostal Assemblies of God back then, and <clears throat> they gave me about a hundred people, uh, probably one fifty. So I would sit down and text one hundred and fifty people every day uh, for the church, and and I, and, I, and I loved it. But then someone told me, Reg, did you know that's a ministry? I'm like, no, I didn't even know. So I just kept texting them for years. And even after, when I left that church, um, the church said, well, don't text our people no more. And I was like, uh, okay. So I texted them all and said, hey, this is my last one. I'm not going to the church no more. And the pastor said, don't text his people no more. And I'm like, okay. So about 35 or 40 of them said, we don't care what he says. Text us. We like those texts. They help us. I'm like, all right. So I kept texting about that 35 or 40 people. And um over the years of texting, um, one day I text the wrong, I went to text an ex-brother-in-law, and uh, I texted him for like four months, and he never responded, so I saw him at a family event, and I told him, um, hey, well, you're not getting my texts? I'm texting you and videos I'm making, and he goes, man, I never got nothing from you. So we compared numbers, and I was off by one digit, so... I said, all right, so I fixed it. I said, I'm going to start texting you now. He says, okay. And um, the next morning, I was up on the street praying for people. had some amazing encounters with the Lord. Um, we're just witnesses. We pray. God does it, right? It's not, a, it's not our power. It's his power. I was having a great moments uh, with the Lord, praying for people on the streets, uh, Patterson, California. And... My ex-brother-in-law called me. He goes, hey, man, I, I called that person uh, that you got the digit. I go, why'd you do that, man? And he goes, well, to tell them sorry. To tell them that you were texting me, but you got the number wrong, and I just wanted to apologize. I go, okay, so what happened? He goes, well, the guy said, tell Reggie, do not stop texting me. And I said, okay. So I put him back on my phone as I don't know who he is, you know, a question mark on the name. But I texted him and I said, hey, what's your name? I, um, I heard that my ex-brother-in-law ca called you and he said his name was John. So I go, all right, John, I'll keep texting you. He goes, thank you. He goes, I want you to know that one day I was going to kill myself and I was about to do it and a text came in and it was God's word and I wept and cried and... I read it and I've been reading those texts for four months and I started reading the Bible and I'm doing better and I was wondering can you text my sister too I was like whoa I was just like weeping before the Lord I was like whoa that's beautiful man and I thought I got the wrong number when actually it was God who did it and there was somebody gonna kill themselves and that text went to them and I kept on that's one testimony I can tell you Hundreds of testimonies like that with texting. So if you don't know where to start, start texting people. Sharing God's word. It won't come back void. All right? Father, I just thank you for this video, and I bless those who watch it. I pray that they start text ministry. Um, do something for the Lord because um, it can change lives. I speak life over them, healing over them right now. I pray the finger of God touch them right now. And any sickness, any hurts, any bitterness, any brokenness, be restored, be healed. 
in Jesus' name. And I just pray life over them and their future generations in the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal yourself to, to them more right now. Reveal yourself to them, Lord. Let your presence be known to them. And then when, when they start to feel your presence, Lord, increase it by three. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. Bye-bye.